The Roy Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. Notice, annual ride of the ranchers of Paradise Valley will take place that Sunday of this month. Senior Don Jose. Got your silver spurs shine, Roy? Sure have, Dale. Good. Day after tomorrow is a big day. Yeah. Hey, if I polish up Nellie Bell, I suppose they'll let me take her? Oh, no. This ride is strictly for horses. Yeah, and strictly for men. All we gals do is wait for you rancheros at the camping ground. But that's tradition and custom, Dale, and you know how Don Jose always likes to stick to the old customs. Yeah. Listen, maybe he'll change his mind this year. Let's go out and ask him, huh? Okay. You might as well ask a leopard to change his spots, but go ahead. See you later, Pat. Bye. Bye. He got away. He drove in the lake at Rocky Point. How is he, Doc? Pretty bad wound. I'll have to operate to remove the bullet. Seems like it flattened against the bone. I asked Pat to come out and take Jim back to Mineral City and Nellie Bell. That's a good idea. Where's Don Jose? Well, it seems as though Alina had a spell of hysterics, so he's talking to her in her room. Roy. There's something awful funny about this shooting. What makes you say that? All the way Elena's acting, and that housekeeper of Don Jose's. Seems Elena and Jim were in love, and her father didn't like it. I'll have a talk with her father. Okay. I'll help the doctor and Pat with Jim. All right. I'll be along as soon as I've talked to Don Jose. Well, do you know of anyone who would want to shoot Jim? I do not know everything about Jim Ferry's private life, Roy. Is it true that Jim and your daughter are kind of sweet on each other? Well, fair not to discuss that. That is personal family affair, Sheriff. Very well, that's your privilege. But remember, if Jim dies, we've got a murder case on our hands. We'll have to re-examine all the evidence. I do not like this suspicion and innuendo against me. My word has always been good. My family has always been proud of his name. Wait a minute, Don Jose. This is only routine questioning. Routine questioning? If I'm no longer believed, I will not lift the right of the ranchers. Now or ever. I'm afraid you misunderstand, Don Jose. Don't be hasty. I got a job to do, and this is part of it. Why, you're the Grand Marshal for as long as you live. Your great-grandfather led the very first ride of the ranchers through Paradise Valley. I'm well aware of that, Sheriff. I'm sure you'll lead the ride for us. All right, gentlemen. All right. Because family tradition demands it. Good day. Well, I'm a 
of some parade, but I still don't believe it. Don't believe what? That Nellie Bell didn't break down right in the middle of it. Oh, I knew she wouldn't. How did you know that? Well, me and Nellie Bell sat down and talked the whole thing over. I told her I was going to give her an oil change and fill her tank full of high octane gas, and she'll do anything for that. What are you shining her up for? The parade's over. Well, I'm still hoping they'll let me take her on this ride. Well, if they're not going to let me ride, it's a cinch Nellie Bell can't. Maybe it's a good idea you're not going to ride at the ranches, Dale. Why? Well, I think you ought to stay with Elena. She's pretty upset right now. Yeah, she is at that. Maybe I can persuade her to ride with me and join you fellas at the camping ground for the fiesta. Hey, that's a good idea, Dale. Get her mind off things. Well, you two dudes have a good ride and remember me sitting on the porch at Don Jose's crocheting with a lady. <laughs> Come on, Bullet. Lucky. Well, you see how it is, Hallie Bell. No ladies allowed on this ride. Too bad I just didn't name you Ekazai after my grandpa. I'm sorry, girl. Hi, Roy. Hi, Sheriff. Some parade, huh? Yeah. You ready for the big ride tomorrow? I'm ready to go. I'll meet you tomorrow morning at Don Jose's ranch at 10 o'clock. All right. Well, goodbye, Nellie Bell. Take good care of yourself and stay away from no young pickup trucks. <laughs> now, Nellie Bell. That's what I call real unfair. Now stop that honking at me. <laughs> Don't you understand, Nellie Bell? I can't take you with me. It's again all rules and regulations. <laughs> What'd you do? I disconnected the horn. Well, what did I disconnect? Well, I don't know, but you better get over there at the livery stable and get yourself a horse if there any left. Paradise Valley ought to be empty of men. And we can handle the women without any trouble. As soon as they're out of sight, we'll head for Don Jose's ranch. It'll be a cinch with Jim Perry in the hospital. Stop her. She's armed and she can shoot as good as any of us. You're right. Good times to try to lose this 
got delivered. <laughs> but cheer up, Pat. We'll be to the camping grounds in about an hour. A whole hour? <laughs> you know, I kind of wish they'd barred me from this ride, too. When I think of Dale sitting cool and comfortable in Don Jose's hacienda drinking tea and gossiping, I almost wish I'd been born a gal. <laughs> Come on. We got plenty of time to stop them up. Then we'll rush them. Hope they run out of ammunition before we run out of heads.
wonder why Foley isn't back. He's had plenty of time to catch that gal. Maybe he ran into trouble. Any more bullets? This is the end of it. No more ammunition? There's still the bullets in here. Shall we save him and he? No. Dale will be back with the men in time. Oh, pretty. The firing stopped. Maybe we better separate and rush them. You take half the men and take the back door, I'll take the front door. Right. Okay, boys, come with me. I have no bullets, but this will make a good club. No, Tico. You won't stand a chance against them. They'll shoot you down like a dog. Come over here. All right, come on. Down. I'll never. Now will you lay that gun down? That's better. Where's the strong box? I'll never tell you. You want us to tear this place apart? All right, boys. It's the money and jewelry we're after. Go find it. They're still here. They're their horses. I'm going inside. Wait a minute, Don Jose. If you go in there alone, they'll pick you off like a sitting duck. We'll all go in. The ranchers are back. Take these two guys out and back and tie them up. Keep going. Hurry up. Come on, Slim. Let's you and I get the loop. Come on, they're over here. Keep them pinned down until Slim and I get away with the loop. Then follow us to the hideout. Hold it. Get the rope. Pat will tie him up. Get over here. Take his gun, Donald Zay. 
They're getting away. Keep in cover, Donald, eh? Come on. All right, all right. like bullet got in the ass. Oh, now, that's not very considerate to him, Roy. If he hadn't caught these Aubrey's horses, we could have made him walk to jail. Get going. Here they come. Jim. Layla. Wow, that's pretty good for an invalid. Hello, Donna Say. Sorry to hear you got hurt. Thanks, Jim. I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, forget that. It was Slim who shot you. I guess you know that. Yeah, the sheriff got that much out of him. The outlaws figured with you out of the way, they could rob the hacienda without any trouble. They didn't count on the ladies. Oh, shucks, for nothing, was it, Elena? But the way that girl handles a gun, I bet I know who's going to be boss of your household. <laughs> <laughs> Think I know what you mean. This gray marshal of the right of the ranches. I hereby revise the rules. From now on, the women will ride with us. Oh, good. Thank you, senor. It will be an honor and a pleasure. Yeah, us men could use a little protection. Say, Don Jose, about Nellie Bell, I sure would like to ride her next time. I think that could be arranged. Well, good. Do you hear that, Nellie Bell? From here on out, you are going to participate in the ride of the ranches. Now, what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Roy, help me! Nellie Bell's lost her head again! Shut up, you high-strung character! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm unstringing you! Shut up! Oh, please, Nellie Bell, don't do this to me!
happy friend.